Hey guys, Wilbur here, and today we are back with another video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Dara Eisendrack and a few things that will be returning in this map. So, if you enjoy these types of videos and want to see more, be sure to smash that like button. It shows that you guys really support these types of videos. And subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. I'll be covering everything uh, in Derizendrak DLC 1, so uh, stay tuned for that. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's video. So yesterday we got us a little bit of a gameplay little snippet trailer that goes for about four minutes and throughout this four minute trailer we had uh, the four new DLC maps that will be coming to multiplayer and we also had a few clips of the Der Eisendrack trailer um, and a few gameplay clips of that actual map. So the first thing I want to point out is that uh, Hellhounds, the Hellhounds, the what people like to call the fluffy, whatever you want to call them. Anyway, they are the zombie dogs and they will be returning in this map. It is double confirmed which means that it is 100% that they will be returning. As you guys remember from the giant if you play Black Ops 3 you are uh, you get those dog rounds every five rounds and once you have completed those rounds you get a free max ammo drop which is amazing you know it's just amazing getting that uh, free max ammo it's really good so in Derizendrak, we're going to be getting the, you know, the Hellhounds that will be returning. They are one of my favorite zombie bosses, and yes, they are counted as a zombie boss, which is pretty good. So if I were to, uh, you know, give you my top five list, that would be on the number one spot. But yes, they will be returning. So as you can see in the gameplay behind us, we can see that uh, once we activate a trap and you run through it with the dog, the dog will explode just like how it works on the giant. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, something I would like to touch on is the Panzer. The Panzer sold out from Origins. It was originally placed in Origins, the last DLC for Black Ops 2. Uh, it was one of my favorites, personally. It was just an amazing map, and uh, we're getting it back in Black Ops 3 Zombies. So with this, uh, he does not have his little claw grabbing thing. I don't know what it's called, but you know, when he claws you on Origins, he drags you and he just, you know, tries to kill you. He does not have that uh, on Dorizen Drag, which is really good. He's gonna make that a whole lot easier. But something I like to point on, uh, point out on is actually that you can see him throughout the gameplay trailer. And throughout this gameplay trailer, you see that he's trying to chase you. And uh, if you remember from Origins, where you would actually shoot off his helmet, uh, and then you'd shoot his head, and then he would die, and then he would drop a fire staff part. So that is a buildable on the map Origins. You can go and build one of the wonder weapons, one of the four wonder weapons, which is really good. Um, and what I'm thinking with this Panzer being in Derizendrak, as you can see uh, in the gameplay shown right now, we got this little snippet of a what people are calling a buildable, what people are calling a wonder weapon um, on Derizendrak. You know, it's just really like a flame, a flaming, you know, bow and arrow. That's what I like to call it. Now, this is my kind of theory on it. I don't, I'm not a big theory guy, but this is what I'm going to put on it. Now, I think once you kill the Panzer you get this part and let's say it's an arrow and you go and build this certain weapon and you get the flaming bow and arrow. I have a feeling that this is going to be a big thing in Der Eisendrack. I want to know what you guys think about that kind of theory, uh, if it's going to work, if it's not, and uh, what you guys think the Panzer is going to do. Because, you know, you got to have a zombie boss in at like, a, you know, every DLC. So it's good that we're having the Panzer, but in uh, Origins, when you kill the Panzer, you would get a part. So I just thought that'd be something really cool to point out. Something else I'd like to point out is that uh, when you see these little Panzer clips, you can see a kind of open space. So I'm thinking, wow, looks like we got a few training locations up in here. If you guys remember Shadows of Evil, we had a decent amount of training locations. My favorite one personally is the canals, just because it's like, it's so easy and you just smash through the rounds. And what I'm thinking, this map is going to have some good detailed training locations that we all love. Um, if you remember the giant, it wasn't the biggest map, but uh, you had a few training locations like here and there, you could do a three trap strat. But with this, I think that we're just going to have some fun train locations to kill the zombies, to have fun, and really just to play the game in general. So that's seriously my little, you know, rant, not really rant, but really informational video for you guys talking about Derizendrak. This map will be uh, available to the public 
in under, I'm pretty sure it's, I think it's like four to five days or something like that. I don't know, it's crazy. I can't wait to smash this, you know, um, this map out. I'm going to be making videos on it. I'm going to be playing the hell out of it. And I'm just going to be having a lot of fun with this map in general. So if you enjoyed this video and uh, don't mind supporting it, be sure to smash that like button. And uh, subscribe to my channel for the daily Black Ops 3 Zombies videos. As I said before, I will be covering everything on Dare Eyes and Drax, so stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye.